Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math along with algebra problem. So here we have t times of t times of t is equal to 125 divided by 8 and we solve this problem for the values of t. So uh, we find all the roots of this equation, uh, either these roots are complex or real. So here, uh, at the end of this question, I can give you uh, a nice assignment related to this problem and I hope so uh, you solve this assignment and you can write your solution or your answer into the comment section. So now we move forward and we solve this problem. Uh, so with the help of the solution, you can solve your assignment. So the very first thing we are going to do is. Uh, here first uh, we multiply uh, these three terms so you see that if any number are multiplied by three times we write it as in the form of cubed so this will become t cubed and here we can find the prime factors of 125 over 8 so it will be written as uh, 5 cubed divided by the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and now here in the next step we apply here the uh, exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m it is equals to a over b to the power of m according to this exponent law we need to combine the exponents of these two terms and it will be written as t cubed equals to 5 over 2 and its whole cubed and now further we move the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as t cubed minus 5 over 2 whole cubed equals to 0 and here we apply the cubic formula you very well know about the cubic formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so you see that the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so uh, when we put these two values of a and b in this formula so it will be written as uh, first you have a minus b the value of a is t minus the value of b is 5 over 2 into again you have a square the value of a is t plus the value of a b is uh, t multiplied by 5 over 2 plus the value of b square is 5 over 2 and its whole square and this is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we need some simplifications here and it will be written as t minus 5 over 2 times of this will become t square okay so this is t square plus this will become here 5t over 2 plus here 5 square becomes 25 and 2 square becomes 4 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as we can divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write t minus 5 over 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square plus 5t over 2 plus 25 over 4 equals to 0 and now here in this case we easily get the value of t is equals to 5 over 2 so this is the, our first real solution of the given equation and now here in order to find the other solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation so first we can write this quadratic equation into the standard form so in order to remove this fraction we will multiply both of the sides by 4 so when we multiply both of the sides by 4 this will be written as 4t square plus this is 4 multiplied by 5t over 2 plus 4 multiplied by 25 over 4 and this is equals to 0 multiplied by 4 so here we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 4t square plus this will become 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and 2 times of 5 becomes here 10t and this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get here 25 equals to 0 times of 4 equals to 0. And now you see here this equation will become quadratic in t variable. Uh, so here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are 
a equals to 4 b equals to 10 and c equals to 25 and we state the quadratic formula as t is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we put the values of a b and c here and it will be written as t is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 10 plus minus square root of b square so b is 10 square minus 4 times of a is 4 and c is 25 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 4 now here in the next step we need some simplifications here and we get our t is equals to minus 10 plus minus square root of uh, this is 10 square equals to 100 minus this is 4 times of 25 is equals to also 100 and it is divided by 2 times of 4 equals to 8 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, uh, t is equals to this is minus 10 plus minus square root of uh, you see here this is uh, 100 with a common term so when you take common 100 we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 8 so now here in the next step we need more simplification and it will be written as uh, so we have our t is equals to minus 10 plus minus is, now we know that square root of 100 is equals to 10 and 1 minus 4 is equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 8. So further in the next step uh, we have our t is equals to this is minus 10 plus minus 10 times of uh, here we have square root of 3 into uh, so you see that uh, when negative sign appears inside the square root it will becomes iota and it is divided by 8. And now here in the next step we need to break this fraction and it will be written as t is equals to minus 10 over 8 plus minus 10 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is also divided by 8. And now here we need to cancel these terms you see here this is 2 times of 5 becomes 10 and 2 times of 4 becomes here 8 uh, so we get here our t is equals to minus 5 over 4 plus minus this is again 2 times of 5 becomes 10 and 2 4 is 8 we get here 5 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 4 so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have the one real root of the given equation is t equals to 5 over 2. So this is the, our final answer of this question and now here I can just uh, give you an assignment uh, or related to this problem and I hope so uh, you can solve this assignment uh, by understanding the above solution so the assignment is that we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x is equals to uh, 64 divided by 125 you can solve this problem for the values of x and I hope so you can uh, solve this problem and you write the answer of this problem into the comment section Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.